How's it going, folks? I teamed up with uh, Redhead Steering Gears to basically eliminate all the slop steering that I have in this truck right now. I've been having bad luck with remanufactured boxes, so I'm pretty stoked to be teaming up with these guys. So when you get your Redhead Steering Gear in the mail, this is what it's gonna look like. They got it really well packaged, so it's not gonna be flopping around in there. So it's a smaller box and a bigger box. It's bagged up. It's got some padding in there to soak up any extra excess fluid. Now I went with the ported version that allows you to go with hydraulic steering down the road. So they capped it for me. I'm not at that stage, but at least I can do it when the time comes. So as you can see here, it's a very nice box. It looks great. They got this red accent, obviously for redhead. Um, it says here, the thread integrity bolts, not for remounting. So these come with the box to just keep the threads good to go. You don't want to use these to mount your box back in there. You're going to take the stock ones that are in there, use that, and put these back into your core to mail back to them. As you can probably see here, when I when I move the, the steering shaft itself, watch the sector shaft. Watch how slowly it moves. There's little, look how much play, look how much I can get before it moves. That's not what you want. That's bad news right there. That's remanufactured boxes for you. Absolutely no play in the steering gear. It's been bench tested. It's good to go. Basically, this box right here is a Napa remanufactured one. It's garbage. Uh, the sector shaft actually ended up being smaller than it should have been. It was 15 thou smaller on the top of the shaft and about 5 thou smaller on the bottom. So the drop pitman arm was actually walking on the shaft itself, thus giving me tons of play in my steering wheel. And it was clunking and it, it's just a mess. All right, so obviously you got to get this hose clamp off. Get your hose off. It's gonna leak a little bit, so make sure you got a pan. Okay, so we're gonna leave this one in. It's a little bit stripped and I wasn't able to grab a new one today, so I'm gonna have to take this and throw it on the vise and get it out. But this rear one here, grab your 18 mil wrench, seems to fit best on it. And loosen that off, it's already a little loose as I tested it prior to the video to make sure it would come off smoothly. And you're gonna wanna get that sucker out of there. All right, so your next step is to pull the four bolts out that are holding the steering gear to your frame rail. I grabbed a 16 mil socket, it seemed to fit pretty good. You're gonna want an extension, it's a bit of a reach in there. So you wanna get those loosened off one by one and then slowly take the box off the frame rail. All right, so the old, the old box is out, new one's ready to go in. Um, they send you these instructions in regards to the core return. Make sure you follow these to a T because if you do not, it could get held up in customs if it's coming from Canada or in hazmat or wherever the case may be. So it can be a real pain in the ass to get it back to them. All right, so we got the box installed, power steering lines are on, Borges and steering shaft is on. Um, now basically all we need to do is fill it with fluid and bleed it. In the instruction, it states to not start the vehicle, that should be a given. Um, you're gonna wanna funnel the power steering fluid, you fill it up, and you get someone inside the cab to take the steering wheel and to go full lock 15 to 20 times. Just You're going to want to make sure that the truck's front end is off the ground. That way you can get full lock a lot easier. Uh, once you've filled it up and done that 15 to 20 times, you they say the minimum requirement is about two hours, but overnight would be best to let it sit. You come back, then top it off, and then go another uh, seven to 10 times. Hey everyone, thank you so much for watching my video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Redhead steering gears are by far the best steering gear on the market. Uh, they stand behind their product and what they say is exactly what they do. Go ahead and check out their site, www.redheadsteeringgears.com. You'll find out all the information you need to know. And uh, if you enjoyed this video, click subscribe and uh, let me know in the comments below. Thank you very much.